Mets. We start with the Mets of the night and press conferences not usually you know exciting but this one was and it didn't take long for ASU's new head man to inspire the Valley. Check this out in the middle of Coach Dillingham's introductory presser prominent ASU booster Knapp Lawrence pledged one million dollars to the Sun Angel Collective which is comprised of a bunch of alums and supporters who are helping to navigate this new name image and likeness landscape to keep ASU football competitive in this market. Now the major contribution is not the end all be all for this move for Kenny Dillingham. He says this is just the beginning and he put out a call to action to Sun Devil Nation. We need everybody. It can't be oh uh, thank you. Okay, that's good. We just got a million dollars. That's unbelievable right there. Well, where else is it coming from? Like, like we just said, he did that to inspire everybody else. What are you doing? You may just buy season tickets. You may just buy season tickets to hockey or baseball. You may show up to wrestling. Whatever that is, what can you do for this program? Not just football. What can you do for this university? Kenny's first day on the job was all about relationships. His first press conference turned into a people conference, as my good buddy Doug Tamaro put it on Twitter today. I love that. His message was very clear. ASU in our community is his passion. It's all hands on deck to turn this program around. Rally the Valley, or as he says, it's time to activate the Valley. ASU introduces uh, Coach Kenny today, this morning. The former Oregon offensive coordinator flew in late last night. He promises to invest in a new era of college football, from the NIL to the transfer portal. His coaching staff will be filled with names you will recognize. He's a Valley boy, a Scottsdale native. He is a Sun Devil, an offensive genius, a guru. Most importantly, he's home. Well, Kenny, um, has the moment hit you yet, or when did it hit you? Right when they said, uh, speak about being the head coach here. Right, it hit me pretty good there, but unbelievable, unbelievable opportunity. I just can't wait to get to work. What's the first order of business for you? Players, meet with the players, talk to the players. I think that's the most important thing is the people. After I talk to the players, talk to the people in the building, right? Then talk about the people I'm gonna bring into the building, right? At the end of the day, this is a special place, right? We now gotta get the special people in here. I've heard your coaching staff is gonna have a local vibe to it. How important is that to you to have an AZ vibe to your coaching staff? Yeah, I definitely wanna have an, an Arizona vibe. I wanna start in the Valley, right? But we're gonna have a California vibe as well, right? We're gonna be able to recruit the West Coast, uh, but we definitely wanna have an Arizona vibe and uh, we wanna activate the Phoenix metropolitan area. Yeah, this valley hasn't been recruited well by ASU. I think it's something you know, be in other places. What will change here in recruiting AZ Town and keeping them home? We're just going to do everything we can. We're going to be diligent. We're going to be passionate. We're going to try to be, you know, on the front end of things. Uh, we're going to hire a staff that's going to pour their heart and soul into recruiting the valley. And uh, that's all I can guarantee. And then how much are you looking forward to being around your family more and, and being back home here in the Valley? Oh, it's unbelievable. We have a newborn, eight-month-year-old. Uh, obviously, my wife is born and raised here. We were neighbors, right? She, she was a dancer here. So for us to be able to bring our eight-month-year-old back home to be around the grandparents is unbelievable. Get you out here on this. What do you make of the talent on this football team? Yeah, I think Sean Aguano, uh, you know, watching the watching the turnover and and watching him take this team, this is a team that does not give up. This is a team that fights, right? And you watch these guys fight to the end. That's the one thing that stood out for me when watching all the crossover games is they fought, and they fought to the end, and I can't wait to get around them. Real quick for everybody watching here, is it Dilly Dilly? Like, well, what's what's a good <laughs> nickname for you? I've seen so many hashtags. Deal with I, I, it. I, I, I'm, I, I'm not into the names. I don't know about that. Uh, uh, Kenny? You know, that's the one thing I will say is I when I got into college, I changed my voicemail to Ken once, and uh, my head coach, Charlie Regal at the time, called me and said, who the heck is Ken? I only know a Kenny, and from then on out, I just stayed Kenny. So if people see you on the streets, hey, Coach Kenny, right? Just call me Kenny. <laughs> I love that, Lena. Not Ken. Just Kenny. Just Kenny. All right, here's a look at his resume. He's young, 32 years young. He is the youngest Power 5 head coach out there. Get this, the first FBS head coach board in the 1990s. Ooh. How is that? He and I are the same age, by the way. Dillingham, though, well-respected uh, from all corners of college football. Not bad for someone that started his coaching career at Chaparral High School as a senior when he was 17 after tearing his ACL 
Lena, it's pretty impressive that he's risen up this this far. But there's a reason for it, and he's because he's well respected everywhere. Absolutely. Now the Dillinghams are ASU through and through. As Coach mentioned, his wife Bree was a dancer, and we were actually teammates on the Sun Devil dance team 10 years ago. But she's been one of Kenny's biggest cheerleaders since they were in high school, and now they're living the dream in their hometown. This is literally home. Home. The emotions were real and raw as Scottsdale native and Arizona State alum Kenny Dillingham saw his dream become a reality. We bleed maroon and gold. We're home. Go Devils, Go baby. Forks up. In front of family. My prayers have been answered. My baby's home. <laughs> and longtime friends. I teared up a little bit, man. Kenny's my boy. The homegrown head coach ushering in a new era of Sun Devil football. This is a place where you needed someone who loves this community, loves this university, loves this state. And I believe that when you get a chance to bring them home, you bring them home. Dillingham's desire to get back to the Valley was no secret. His wife, Bree, describing this moment as surreal. Always wanted to. It literally has been Kenny's dream from day one. If you ask anybody, this is where he wanted to be. We started dating officially in high school, and we've been together ever since. We went to ASU together, graduated together, and have done this whole journey together. The journey bringing the Dillinghams back to where it all started. And then when you learn that eight generations are born and raised here in Arizona. We didn't even know that. It's like, wow. It's unbelievable. It's like, uh, it's like all your uh, bucket list items in one. Day one on the job in Dillingham is already at work, building relationships with high school coaches throughout State 48, with Sean Aguano on his staff and the Arizona Football Coaches Association in his corner. I'm here as the president of the AZFCA to show the Valley support of Kenny. The support is going to be phenomenal for Kenny. Everyone's excited for him. Coach Dillingham, welcome back to the Sun Devil Nation. It's an exciting time for Sun Devil Nation, and it's a homecoming for Kenny Dillingham. He's ready to bring the boom back to Tempe, but not before celebrating his new gig with his favorite local product. I mean, I, I finally got to eat Ajo Owls salsa again. Right, I'm a big Ajo Owls fan. I finally got home, and we had Ajo Owls salsa at home last night at, at 1030. Right, so that fired me up, but the emotions were, were real. Right, that this is, a, this is a dream that not just I had, everybody had, and here we are. Oh, such great stuff there, Lino. All right, time to bring in our 12 Sports Insider from the Doug Franz Unplugged Podcast. Doug Franz joining us here in studio. Kenny Dillingham is home, Doug. You've known Kenny a long time. I have. How good is this hire from ASU? I think they nailed it. And I don't remember the last time I've complimented anything <laughs> ASU did. I think they absolutely crushed this hire. And a lot of people like to bring up his age as if it's a negative. He's only 32 years old. He's too young. Who cares? How many people do you know are playing high school football, get hurt, and become the coach of the high school football team? So with his timeline being so sped up early in his life, all he's doing is getting a head coaching job at 32. But the track line is the exact same thing for any Anybody else, he's just doing it eight years sooner because he's that good. You're not worried about the experience then? The lack no, of head coach. I actually love the experiences that he's been able to do. And the reason why I love the experiences is because look where he's bounced around. Yeah. He's going to have connections from his one year at Auburn. Here he is, a good coach at Chaparral, and the offensive coordinator, Mike Norvell, says, I want you here at ASU. Mike Norvell leaves and goes to Memphis and says, hey, I want you. And then while he's at Memphis, Auburn says, I want you. This is all SEC stuff. Well, then once Mike Norvell goes to Florida State, he goes, I want you back. And <laughs> he gets them back and then he has one year running everything at Oregon and Oregon's top three in the conference in every offensive category this is exactly the guy ASU needs to fix what's going on I want you back a great Jackson five song <laughs> absolutely uh, we've seen the celebration the happy tears but I'm gonna bring us down to uh, earth here a sure. little bit there's mm -hmm. still an NCAA investigation that's yeah. now going on a year and a half we've still yet to see the findings how does this hire or how does Kenny Dillingham's position 
impact this investigation or how this program moves forward? I think this is a great opportunity for ASU, and I think this is another reason why it's a good hire. I want somebody that's young, because I think ASU is going to get hammered. I think the NCAA is going to drop the hammer on them, and you need somebody that's a great recruiter. If you look at some of the recruits he brought into Auburn, and then some of the recruits he brought into Florida State, and some of the Oregon uh, recruits that are actually tweeting now, congratulations, Kenny Dillingham. This shows he's got connections all over the place because you're not going to be able to get out of these sanctions for a while. You've got to recruit, recruit the portal, and you've got to be able to recruit quickly to get kids that say, I don't care about the incoming sanctions. And Kenny's the person that can do it. Another thing that Kenny Dillingham also mentioned is the NIL landscape. How do you think his hire, his youth, his energy, connections here to the Valley really gets a ASU on board? We saw a million donated already today. Mm -hmm. How many more millions are they going to get? Well, I, I tell you, the person that gave the million, Knapp's got a lot more money, so sure. he can throw more right in, too, if he chance. wants it. But the thing is, that's another reason why. That shows the boosters immediately said, I want this guy. And back to your sanctions question, this is another reason why it's good to have Kenny, because the way you get the best players, sadly, whether you like this or not, is the NIL deals. So you want a young, energetic guy that's not going to sit on a high horse like Ray Anderson, Herm Edwards, and Dr. Crow did and say, we're not into the NILs. The rest of the country is guys now you've got a young person that immediately says bring me the money show me the money and then he's going to be able to show it to the players and now you get better players coming to Arizona State. Doug out of here on this yes or no this hire will end up differently than past hires over the last 30 years. Absolutely. <laughs> Kenny Dillingham's passion, creativity, and desire to be great, and plus, as he said today, although he was a little over the top, I admit it, the way he said that passion, that's going to resonate. He relates to young guys. He's going to be able to bring them in. This is the best hire this university has had in years. Can't ask Doug a yes or no question, right? It's just not, not going to happen. He's going to shoot straight, <laughs> and that's why we love him. And you know what? I get on people who don't answer yes or no <laughs> questions with a yes or no, and then I did it. Doug, as always, thanks for the time, Doug. Anytime. Let's see what social media is saying about Kenny Dillingham. Something cool that we learned, actually. He's now the seventh Sun Devil alum to become a head coach at ASU. Thanks to our guy, Doug Tamaro, for that. Well, some impressive names right there on that list, Lena. Also, I absolutely love this. First order of business relationships with the high school coaches here in the Valley. Did a Zoom with over 125 coaches uh, with the Arizona High School Football Association this afternoon. Just shows you the first step needed into making sure all those relationships are built here in the Valley. Yeah, and absolutely. And this says a lot, right? Dillingham's former boss, Florida State head coach Mike Norvell, saying congrats. He's gotten a lot of love from former coaches within the area and beyond. I also love that Sean Iguana was on that Zoom too as well. Staying on the SAP, that's big. And finally, uh, this makes sense. Excitement gets you tickets, right? Hey. Come on, fill that stadium. Yeah, next that stadium year. was way too empty. Yeah, yeah, come on, fill that stadium next year for Kenny. Uh, let's see what ASU football can do with some new life. All right, let's look at our bullhorn question. What do you think of the hire? Time for you at home to sound off. Simple. Do you give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Tweet Lena and I. Come on. Or send us a text, whatever. Uh, right now. Look yeah. at this. Overwhelmingly thumbs up. But there's still time for you guys to get in on the conversation. Tweet us. Get online to 12news.com slash bullhorn. Let us know if it's a thumbs up, thumbs down for Coach Kenny. We'll take another look at this poll later in the show.